welcome back to your girl's channel. I got another cooking video for y'all. What are we cooking? Um, some other steak. Yeah. My daddy cooked it one night just randomly and it was so good. That steak was so good. The mashed potatoes. It was, you should have had them when they was fresh. Nah. I didn't like the mashed potatoes. They were like. Yeah, you was hating on them potatoes for so good. They were not. Even though they had a lot of butter, they still went hard. No. Yeah. They weren't smooth or nothing. They was rough and yeah, they were supposed to they be rough and tough. Like, yeah, they was rusty. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I don't like those type of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and but the steak was y'all yeah, so so. But good. today we I just made the steak and great and rice and gravy and some uh corn, fried corn with uh butter, aka mock shoe. We don't even. Yeah, we don't even have no more potatoes. What's mock shoe? Uh, yes, we do. Corn. We had a whole. No, I use them all. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna just be watching, just like y'all watching, to learn, because I've got to learn how to make this steak. Like it's easy. So y'all stay tuned. And I'm hungry, y'all. It's late too. So this gonna be a quick little one too. I hope you guys enjoy it. Grape seed oil. Yeah. <coughs> I'm about to choke. And one cube of butter. There you go. And just let that melt just like so. And then my daddy already got that's one bell pepper and that's one yellow onion. Mm -hmm. And then we got our steak. This is some um uh New York strip steaks. Already been washed. Salt them bad boys up. That's a lot of salt, Daddy. It's not. Pepper. Oh. That's a, okay. You gonna put cayenne pepper on them? No, yeah, not to brown them. Gonna brown them. Oh, okay. I didn't know you had to brown them first. Yeah, you put cayenne all that in, you know, for the gravy after you get done. Oh, okay. The salt helps it to brown better too. you would have cooked it in a pot this is a pot a little skillet pot no like a deeper pot no I'm gonna fry it. okay so same thing for the corn Wait, butter it's on the wrong side no wonder that's cooking oh, right i'm no. like what in the hell oh this is our good this is our good skillet huh yeah and i had them on the low um <laughs> this is the weak one the fire wasn't right yeah i was tripping mm. yeah. Steaks going. Mm. All right, same thing in here. Butter and grapeseed oil. Because grapeseed oil is good for the avocado oil. We should have got some avocado oil to start. You was looking at it? Why oh, you didn't get it? Because I was looking for it to see if they had a big thing of it or something. Oh, okay. All but, right, bell pepper, onion. Onion. All right. Y'all, I'm so hungry. Put a half on it. Alright. Ooh. $10. $10 corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm cut to show. The corn, let, that, let that onion, that onion cook a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then you hit it with that corn. And what you gonna season the corn with? Tony's, of course. Of course, for sure. And I'm gonna put Tony's in it, Daddy. Can I put some Tony's in it? Yeah, what? Tony's. I mean, not Tony's. Cayenne pepper. Yeah, cayenne pepper, boy. All right, cool, cool, cool. Y'all know I love me some cayenne pepper. Okay. Those onions are getting brown. 
garlic stuff later on because garlic will burn easy and start and scorch and leave a bad taste. So we put the garlic in. Spoon of garlic. Throw that in there. So how long should we let this cook? Um, uh, I mean, I don't even, just a few minutes. Okay, two, three minutes, let this cook down, let this simmer. While you got your steaks going? Yeah. So onion, butter, first, butter, gray seed oil, onion, bell pepper, garlic. And let it cook down. Rolling down. Mm-mm. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Four fold. Or three four folds. Yeah, I'm just saying that's just we, we gotta let the people know so they I know. mean it's, it wasn't a four fold, it was you know like eyeballing, you know, at the end of the day. Probably two tea tablespoons of garlic all together. Okay. Alright. You know, two heaping tables, you know, whatever two. Garlic to your taste. You know, some people might want a little more or a little, you know how beginners or a little less. They got to know the specific measurements. Yeah. I will. Just eyeballing. Will. Like, I'm probably going to put some more butter in here, too. That, that probably wasn't enough butter. Okay. You were, yeah. You know. Corn eat a lot of butter. He put more butter. My daddy put half a stick earlier, and now he added another half a stick. So once the onion and the bell pepper and had a chance to cook down, yeah, then you want to add garlic. some garlic in there. And let that cook down. Mmm, garlic be smelling so good. Mm-mm. Oh, we got to see them at least calm. Black pepper. Red pepper. Salt. Yep, I had that sea salt. Mm -hmm. Or um, pink salt. And then, yeah. Any salt. Any but, salt you, you know, cook this ain't no healthy meal. And then we can hit it with some tonics to taste. Sadly. Yeah. I wish it was healthy. Yeah, you did what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. You can eat healthy or you can eat good. Tony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Healthy 
can be good too though, baby. Mm -hmm. If you really look into it and learn the recipe. Yeah, I know, I was hating. I was mm -hmm. hating. <laughs> Not listening to people who say stuff like that. That is, yeah. <laughs> This girl pop. <laughs> no, no. This type of people discourage you right there. Shit like that. <laughs> Shoot. Add him. Wait, what was that? What you just pepper. added? Some uh, garlic powder. Okay, garlic Smoked powder. Paprika. Smooth paprika. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. For color. No, this smells like some of this. Oh. Let's see what this Yeah, and for color too. Yeah, I like to turn it on. I don't know. I just hear people say color. Yeah, because paprika don't have a lot of flavor to it, but it do got a flavor. But that smoked paprika really puts a nice flavor in it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Ooh, now it's gonna cook. Ah! Yes. And all this good brown on the steak, that's gonna make the nice, rich yes. brown gravy. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I can't wait to eat. I ain't done all day. <laughs> all right, so now we put the water Just in. Make sure, making sure all of the uh, stuff mix around up in there good. Okay. So get all up under on too. You bring it up to boil and then, you know, turn it down and put your top on it. All right. It doesn't have a top that fit, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. You gotta do it the away. It's all good though. And then you gotta have, and then you gotta stir your corn up every so long. As it cooks down, okay. and it gets to the point where you gotta stir it. You know, you gotta watch it because the, the butter will start to, you know, brown okay. and brown, and it'll stick all to the corn. That's what you want. You said that's what you want. Yeah, you want it to cook down to the point to where that butter and stuff starts sticking to the corn. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Looking good, looking good. I don't know. I feel like we should add some more uh, cayenne. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah, you still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we done empty the cayenne pepper bottle. Thank you. Ooh, now it's gonna be nice and spicy. Right, you can down. separate it like that in this naked pot. All right. That's when the butter's sticking to it, you know? That's, yeah, you want to keep stirring it and watch on it. Mm -hmm. So the corn is pretty much so done. Yeah, the corn is done already like you. Wow, look at this corn. I am so... You know, like next time we do it, I think we're going to not we're gonna not add it as water or as much water. Okay. And uh, see if we can just fry it from frozen right with some butter. Okay. And uh, that way it'll, it'll fry and, and the corn will still be you know, like plump and juicy. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Like raw, in a raw state. Yeah. But, yeah. But but fried ooh, fried but raw. That's going to be cold. Okay. Mm, I don't know how that's going to work though. Fried on the outside, but on the inside. Yeah, it's not gonna, it, it'll keep it from being like so overcooked, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it still had a plumpness of like barely cooked. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, the juices in the inside. Yeah. But these still look juicy though. I don't see what's the problem. Well, these are like heavily cooked. You know, uh -huh. I'm talking about doing the version that where they're like more plump, like al dente. Hmm. Okay. Steak on. Like my dad, we have to take take the top off of the steak because the top was too big and there's no top to this pot. So we're just yeah, it was making a mess. Um, no pot in it, no top in it. So good! Oh my goodness, y'all! This corn on that good brown basmati rice. Mm 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 mm. This mm. corn is so good, y'all. This is the best corn I've ever had. Like honestly. Truthfully, for real. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all try this re recipe out. And if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out any, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.